What is sex transmutation? Sex transmutation is just the process of redirecting your sexual energy into your goals, into creative and productive purposes, rather than solely just physical pleasure. So one of the biggest issues is that when you're fapping, when you're masturbating, whatever you want to call it, is that you're leaking your sexual energy and you're not using it to actually help you. Well, there's a couple ways that you can direct that energy positively. You can redirect it into your goals, you can direct it into your hobbies, and you can also redirect it into girls, but there's a special way to do that. There's a couple of reasons why this is very important and why you have to master this. The number one reason is because it increases your energy and your vitality. By harnessing and redirecting this energy, you'll experience this increase in energy and you'll just feel like a beast. This extra energy can be used into your hobbies, into your business, into fitness. It can be used to conquer a lot of your personal goals. The second benefit is improved mental clarity, focus, and concentration. As a man, you have to be able to control your sexual desires. There's going to be times that you can't just go off the, those impulsions that you get from sex. You have to actually master that. And when you start to master this and actually discipline yourself with your sexual desires, what happens is you start to develop better decision making and more effective problem solving because you're not always thinking about that. You know when to shut it down and you know when to actually just focus on the things that you need to get done. The third benefit is very similar to that with the last one and that is greater self-discipline. When you start to shut down those sexual desires and you start to redirect that energy, you start to really master who you are because you're not allowing those impulses to take a hold of you. Fourth benefit is increased confidence and self-esteem. Once you start re redirecting this energy, you're going to start accomplishing a lot more of your goals, you're gonna be doing a lot more of your hobbies, and it's going to make you more confident and more competent in the process. And women are going to be extremely attracted to that, but more importantly, you're going to feel a lot more confident because you're actually getting a lot more things done. We have to also be aware of what are the threats that stop us from mastering this process. The biggest one is probably addiction to porn. And I think that this is probably a rite of passage for a lot of young guys because we have porn at our fingertips. You can literally Google something in two seconds and you already have everything exposed to you. This is cheap and instant pleasure. It's like instant gratification. And it's really, this is like the most it's very insidious because you think that you're just because you have that exposure it's okay to watch it you know you you kind of you bust a nut quick and it's like whatever it has a lot more detrimental effects that you probably don't look at you know you oversee them because you're not experiencing them on a day-to-day -day basis one of the biggest issues is that it's a big time waster because if you're watching it let's say for 30 minutes to an hour and you watch it multiple times a day like one to you know three times a day you're wasting like three hours of your day on on porn and it's not really helping your progress with with girls the only way that porn is actually helpful is if you watch it for like educational purposes and you see how these guys like treat the girl and how like uh you just learn from it man you take some notes and you see how like they're positioning the girl how they're moving her like how they set it up you know, you can kind of see the body language of the girl, what they like, what they don't like, the different positions that you can actually use. That's like the only way that I would recommend to watch it. But don't watch it just to like masturbate and to release your energy because it's not going to be like real life. You're just going to waste your energy. You're going to waste your time. And then when you're actually ready to perform, it's not going to go the way that you plan it based off the things that you are watching. The second threat is masturbation without purpose. And that just means that you're just like masturbating just to masturbate. And it's easy to do that because sometimes you want to like take the edge off. Like I've been there, you want to take the edge off. You're out there a long day of work or you go through some stuff and you're like, man, let me just relax a little bit. It's easy to do it, but you don't want to fall into the habit of constantly watching it because it's going to take away from your actual urge to go out there and talk to new girls and actually go out there and get some sex with, with some real life girls. You're gonna, you're gonna revert to just masturbating and just kind of like looking for the easy way out. And also it just decreases your motivation and your focus because you start to waste time and you're, you're spending all your time doing that. You, you kind of deplete yourself of that energy and it can really 
spill over into like your goals and your and your work, the work that you need to get done. The third is engaging in very promiscuous behavior. The best way that I can describe it is that you're, you're spending too much time like just trying to get girls, but you're broke or you're not really working on your goals. You're not really working on growing yourself, but you're just spending it on talking to girls. Let's say you do get lucky and I think the luckiest that I've been is when I was, I was broke in college. Like I, I just had so much time on my hands that I could easily just talk to girls. And that made it a lot easier to talk to girls. But the issue here is that you don't want to just focus on that. You want to focus on your purpose. You want to focus on your mission. And then the girls come afterwards. When you start to have like this kind of promiscuous behavior where you're just, like, just trying to be a pimp, trying to be a player, and you spend all your time on that, you're not going to grow in your career. You're not going to grow financially. You're just gonna be focusing on that, and to be a high, like a high value male, to be a man that's overall has everything mastered in his life, you have to focus on other areas, and it's just not just girls. It's also your career, your business mindset, the way that you carry yourself. Like, there's a lot of different factors that are gonna make you a more overall high value male, and that's just one thing to keep aware of. Like, yeah, going out with girls. Every now and then, maybe having like a set up a date every maybe once or twice a week is, is perfectly fine. But don't let it get to a point that you're you're wasting all your energy and your time into just ramming through girls. Like you're just trying to run through girls as much as possible and you're not growing in other areas of your life. And a lot of guys do this, especially a lot of younger guys in high school. Like they just want to get, you know, they just want to get some girls and they're not really focusing on other things. They're not focusing on their future. And what ends up happening is that like these guys stay broke and they don't really grow. They don't really excel in their life. It's not going to make you feel fulfilled. It's not going to make you feel happy because the main thing as a man is that we need to follow our mission. We need to follow our purpose. Girls are like the byproduct of it. And, and you will realize that the more that you follow your mission and your purpose, like the easier it is to get girls because they see that you're a man that's in that's taking responsibility and he's actually trying to accomplish things with his life and girls are just more attracted to it this is long-term game you're gonna have a lot more prospects a lot more girls that are gonna be attracted to you in that journey because you're actually following your mission this is not for the girls this is for you this is gonna make you more fulfilled when you follow your purpose when you follow your passions your mission because you're actually living a life that's fulfilling to you and girls are just a byproduct of that. The fourth threat is very similar to the last one again. It's not having that clear mission or purpose in life. Because if you don't have it, you're gonna start with, uh, fulfilling your time with pleasures. So it can be with alcohol, with drugs, it can be with other, other like video games, it can be with girls, and you're not growing again. You're just, you're just feeding those pleasures. And hedonism is just a black hole. You can throw as many things as, into that hole as possible, but you're never going to feel fulfilled because there's always going to be that void. So the main thing is to follow that mission and follow that purpose. So the fifth threat is procrastination. The most important asset that we have is time. If you don't maximize your time, if you're wasting it on porn, on masturbating, you're not using your time effectively, then that sexual energy, you're not going to use it to help actually help you. And you're just ultimately not going to reach your full potential and your goals. All right, so before we jump into actually mastering your sexual energy and your sexual transmutation, we want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Chase Bank. One of the best ways that you can redirect your sexual energy into your goals is to get your money on point and actually start focusing on your finances. Finances is one of the most important aspects that every man needs to master. And today we have a great sponsor, which is Chase Bank. They're offering great deals on a couple of their credit cards. Two of the credit cards that I strongly recommend to start off using are the Chase Freedom and the Chase Flex. I use these cards more in the United States. I'm currently in Mexico, but these two cards are great for cash back. They give you a lot of opportunities. They have great welcome bonuses. They're great starter cards to start building your credit. Chase is hooking us up. In the link below, I have my referral code, and if you use that referral code, you'll get a couple of welcome bonuses if you sign up for the card. If you use the code, it'll also help out the channel so I can keep bringing you this self-improvement content. So make sure to use those links so you can apply for your credit cards and you can start building your finances and building that credit that's going to take you to that next level. All right, so what are the war strategies to actually maximize our sexual transmutation energy? The very first one is to use sex as a motivator. 
there's nothing wrong with liking girls. There's nothing wrong with trying to get pretty girls, talking to pretty girls, courting pretty girls, and having sex with pretty girls. There's nothing wrong with it. You just have to do it the right way. Start thinking about pretty girls that you're interested in. You start thinking about girls that you're attracted to, maybe at your gym, maybe at your church, girls that you talk to from a day-to-day -day basis. And you have these girls that you start picturing in your mind. Start redirecting your energy into actually going to the gym so you can impress these girls. Think about learning something creative, uh, a creative outlet so these girls are attracted to it. Learning, Learn about uh, personal finance so you can actually take these girls on a date and you can actually pick them up in a nice car. You can take them to cool places, cool experiences, maybe on some trips. This is not to say that you're gonna be simping over girls, but think about like if you actually maximize yourself and you grow, you can take these girls on, on different experiences and they'll be more attracted to you. So instead of instead of thinking, okay, like I'm not, I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm just gonna focus on growing. That's a good way to think about it. But also think about, okay, this pretty girl that I'm really attracted to. If I start leveling myself up and I actually go hard in the gym, I start going hard with my personal finance. I start going hard with my productivity and my career. This girl's gonna be more than happy to to talk to you and to be around you, and and, and she's gonna be even more attracted to you. So that can be a strong motivator that you can use towards your goals. The second war strategy is to cut out porn and also to practice a no fat. This is very difficult, especially at first. You're gonna get a lot of urges and temptation to, to watch porn, especially if you're maybe moderately addicted to it or you're severely addicted to it. You're going to have withdrawal symptoms and it's perfectly fine. It's just something that you're gonna have to battle through. The best way is that I can recommend to fight these urges is to to tire yourself out completely like go into war mode where you're waking up early and you're hitting the gym hard in the evenings or in the morning and you're working very hard on your goals to the point that when you get to bed at night you have no time to to beat off and, and to waste that sexual energy because you're just completely exhausted. This is the best way that I, I've, I've dealt with this in my experience. It's just to completely like kill my body and kill my mind to the point that I just, I just can't, I don't even have the energy at the end of the day to do it. Uh, occasionally, if you do feel the urge, what I would invite you to do is to not watch any porn, but to maybe invest like in a, in a magazine. And this is gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna slowly get to that point where you can cut it off but you can invest in a magazine with still pictures and you can watch that. And if you really get the urge, you can let one out watching that. And eventually you're gonna get to the point that you don't have to watch it anymore. The biggest issue is when you start watching videos is that you start going into like this world that's like so much dopamine in your head that it's just gonna fuck up your brain. But if you watch like still pictures, it's something less, less, less harmful for your brain because these are still pictures, just paper. You know, you, you start using your imagination more than as opposed to the dopamine that comes from like a video stimulus and just use that uh, in the meantime. Eventually, then what you can do is you can start using just your thoughts from that that magazine and just think about those thoughts without watching it. And, and if, you, if you really need to let it out and then you'll get to the point that you just don't need it anymore. It will increase your testosterone levels. I think it, there's been studies that have shown that after a week of no fat your testosterone levels just boost dramatically so practicing no fat can be very helpful and also if you if you start dating some girls like having sex occasionally with your girl is very helpful even if you just have one girlfriend that you're like solely committed to her that can be very helpful for to help you release that sexual energy and that tension in the right way and especially with a girl that you like, a girl that you're, you know, that you're maybe you're in love with, a girl that you're committed to, you can use, uh, you can be with her, and you can you can redirect that energy with her as well. If you don't have a girlfriend, if you're, you know, you're, if you're single but you're you're talking to a couple of girls, just make your intention clear. I think the biggest thing is to not lead girls on and not lie to them about like your intentions. If you just want to have sex with a girl, like let her know. Even if you don't, if you just want to have sex with a, with a girl, and not get in a relationship with her, like just kind of let, just let her know. Just let her know that, and she she should respect it. She'll respect you more for letting her know up front. If you don't let her know, she could start getting some feelings, and then you know you could start getting feelings as well, and then it could, it's just gonna be a whole mess. But I think if you every now and then, if you if you have a girl, a lady friend that you like, 
and you like to, you know, you hit her up and you guys get, get together, have some dinner, go out, all that built-in tension that comes from retaining your, your, your sexual energy, she's gonna really feel it. You're gonna like ravage her because it's just all bottled in and she's gonna really feel it uh, when, when you see her. With no fat, it's gonna really help you channel that energy inside of you and it's gonna increase your testosterone. And then you can also channel it with uh, with your with your girl, like the, your main girl. This is the girl that you, this is your girlfriend. Or you can channel it with with the girls that you like and girls that you're talking to. As long as they know, as long as it's you're upfront with it, and you're not leading anyone on, you're not giving like false expectations. I think it's perfectly fine because it's just uh like th they know what it is, you know what it is. The third way to master your sexual energy is that whenever you do get that sexual urge, is to just completely change your mind off of the subject. Think about whatever you're working on, your business, your career, your finances, think about other things and really try to distract your mind. And this is gonna help you have like that self-control over over your sexual urges because if you're if you can't control your sexual urges, then you're a slave to your sexual urges. And it can they can make you do whatever at any point. Like if, if your sexual urges say jump, you jump. It's like a dog like you you're controlled, you're a slave to it. Whenever you get that urge, just shut it down. You know that it's just uh, an impulse. And once you shut it down, you start thinking about something completely different. One, it's gonna make you more disciplined and more focused on the things that you need to get done. And two, you're, not, you're no longer a slave to those quick sexual desires that we as men naturally get. There were studies that said that men think about sex like every 10 seconds. And I would, I would agree with that. I think that sex is probably one of the biggest things that as guys we think about. We can think about it in very subtle ways, but whenever you get those urges, just completely change your mindset and think about something completely different. Something that's gonna make you more productive, your finances, your business, uh, a creative outlet, something that's gonna help you actually uh, channel that energy correctly. All right, so there you have it, guys. That is the power of sexual transmutation, sexual energy. If you made it this far to the video, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give us a like. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong, stay relentless, and keep on conquering. Peace.